Welcome back to the Custom Cabinet Estimator tutorial series. In this tutorial, we'll be looking at setting up and managing the fifth of the six defaults, letters. From the dashboard, we'll go to our default setup and go to letters. And as always, we come to our list view and this search feature is not very useful if we only have eight items in the list, but you can just pick on the one you want. And just know that this entire section is probably lived past its usefulness with the age of email. Almost everything goes out as an email. This could be transferred to an email, but I'm going to show you a much better way to deal with that in some of the latter videos in this series where we talk about some project management stuff with Trello or Asana and some print management with preprint or fine print and then we'll look at some Google extensions like Gorgeous that allows you to keep templates for your email that would actually address the emails for you and have the content of frequently sent emails. So these subject matters where you have an estimate cover letter with design fee as opposed to an estimate cover letter without design fee. We left all this in so you would have these templates to work from. This could be copied and pasted into Gorgeous or any other templating email program. So at this point there is actually no way to go to reports and print these. We just didn't see the point in it because this is just an old methodology but we did want to leave the data in here so that you could monkey see monkey do or copy and paste these to some other area so this is going to be the shortest video i've done so far and basically you can just use this as templates to use with some other software and i'll show you some software alternatives in a later tutorial that's it for this video tutorial on default letters next we will look at default cabinets in custom cabinet estimator thanks for watching